Six live pictures from the federal courthouse in Key West, where it was sentencing day for a homegrown terrorist. Harlem Suarez was convicted in January of plotting to detonate a bomb at a Florida Keys beach, and the feds say he was inspired by ISIS. The FBI started watching Suarez closely after he posted on social media promoting the Islamic State. And today he was sentenced to life in prison, and our local 10 News reporter Glenna Milberg was there. She joins us live now from Key West with today's hearing. Glenna. Calvin, Laura, you can really hear the judge grappling with what would be the appropriate sentence for this local guy whose terrorist actions drew national attention. By the guidelines, the sentence was life in prison, and life in prison it was. Harlem Suarez's parents just after a federal judge sentenced their son to life in prison as a terrorist. The seriousness of the offense gets balanced against the characteristics of the defendant. In court, the judge struggled openly. Was Suarez a lone wolf loyal to ISIS who tried to blow people up or just a misguided screw up trying to belong to something big? In January, a Key West jury had convicted him in 47 minutes and that included lunch. In 2005, Suarez had been on social media threatening to kill Americans and recruiting for ISIS. He'd gotten nowhere before FBI informants and undercover agents rolled out a plan. Suarez conspired with them, thinking they were fellow terrorists. And that summer took delivery of a nail-filled, cell phone-controlled backpack bomb to bury on a Key West beach. There was a belief on the side of the family that he was pressured into doing this by the government. Because of his mother's pressure, Suarez had refused a plea deal for 20 years. He has no criminal history, a psych profile as gullible and easily swayed. Dozens of friends and co-workers wrote the court asking for leniency. But federal prosecutors argued, however naive or inept Suarez might be, the intent was there and his actions might have been catastrophic. You may not be surprised to learn that Suarez's attorney is already planning an appeal. And meanwhile, he is asking the Bureau of Prisons to assign Suarez to life in prison somewhere close to home here. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Key West tonight, Local 10 News. Glenna, thank you. And now to a 